We're doing something different today. I'm on a beach because I'm about to go for a blast on a boat which is not only jet powered, but is entirely electric. And this is it, and we're going to take it for a blast very shortly, but right now I want to figure out how it works. And to teach me, this is Declan from ZeroJet. Declan, what is it? So this is our 3.3 carbon ZeroJet tender with a 15 kilowatt electric jet pump inside. How does it work? Where does, the, where does the water go in? Where does it come out? So you won't be able to see where the water comes in, but it comes in underneath the hole here. So there's an there's a inlet underneath there. The water comes in here and shoots out the back of this nozzle around the back here. So where are the batteries? Where's the controller? All that sort of stuff. So this is our, as I said, 15 kilowatt motor, but it's got five kilowatt hour battery packs. It's a split pack design. So you've got 2.5 kilowatt hour batteries on either side of the boat. And then under here is the system itself. Oh, no way. Gosh, that's, that is really compact. So we've tried to keep it as compact as possible so that you've still got the usable space of the boat. Um, if we look through the system briefly, you've got the motor here. You've got a motor controller on top. There's a, a coolant heat exchanger here. So as the water's passing underneath the hull, you've got a closed loop cooling system. Oh, so it's not taking salt or fresh no water No salt in. water at all. No. So you can just switch this between salt and fresh without having to flush anything out. Yeah. Yeah, so coolant flows through there, that, that's then pumped through the motor and the, the motor controller here, keeping everything nice and cool. That's why we can get such good efficiency and speed. Okay, speaking motor. of that, before we hit the water, how far does it go? How fast does it go? The usual questions. Yeah, so of course it all depends on how you're using it, the weather conditions, the tide, etc., etc. But this thing will do a top speed of about 22 knots. What's I don't speak Roman Catholic. What's that in, in kilometres an hour? Oh, I need to be more intelligent than me to tell that. <laughs> I'll just put it on the screen. <laughs> At planing speed, which we try to be is our most important number, so just as you come up onto the plane, yep. it will run for about an hour. Okay. That's 12 to 13 knots. Again, I'm not... Whatever that is. Not in, in normal. Right. <laughs> okay. um, but then as you're using it day to day, so at, at, at slower speeds, you're getting up to five hours at the three to four knot range. All right. Okay, you've got my interest peak. Can we hit the water? Yeah, let's go Alrighty. for it. And we're off. How much more uh, maneuverable and responsive is this compared to a combustion version? Oh, it's much more. Yeah, it will turn on. It will turn on the dime. Far out. And then same as if you go, if you put it in reverse, you've got the ability to do the same. Look at that. So we're heading out, out of the five knot zone so we can have a bit of a play in the harbour here at Bucklands Beach in Auckland. Should be a bit of fun. I think I might get wet. Oh, we're off. We're going now. Crikey. This has got a bit of go. Gosh, sure does. All right, that was the, uh, the introduction. We're just waiting for the camera boat to, uh, to catch up. It's running on combustion, you see. So while I catch my breath and maybe throw up a little bit, I want to ask just about the vessel itself, how it partners with offshore tenders, is it? Offshore cruising tenders. Offshore yeah. cruise, cruising yeah. tenders. How, what is it? So you guys sell which part? So we are the propulsion suppliers. Okay. We've partnered with a company called Offshore Cruising Tenders, which are based up in Northland, by here. They build the hulls, so there's a, a, a team of about 10 of them, Corinne and Russell. So these are all hand-built hulls that are made up in Northland. Okay. And then we install the jet system into them. But this is carbon fibre though, isn't it? Yeah, this is carbon fibre. So this is all premium materials. We've got the, the best batteries that we can source and it's brand new technology. So it, it is expensive. But you're aiming at a, a slightly higher market. But we're at, So this is, a, this is a vessel as a tender. So we're aiming for those luxury launchers or bigger bigger yachts that this this boat would fit inside. How long have you guys been developing this thing? Um, about seven, eight years. So oh, around. Yeah, okay. It's been right. a long time. Okay, this is quite right. a few revisions we've gone through. So in these vessels, we just offer the one battery pack, okay. which is our five kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, the idea behind that is that these tenders are, are super lightweight, so we don't want to have too much weight in gotcha. such a tender because you still want the ability to pull it up onto the beach yourself and launch it yourself without it being too heavy. Okay, now's the terrifying part where I'm going to actually have a go at controlling this beast. All right, let's try and stay in the in the boat. <laughs> so we'll get you to put your kill cord on. Okay. 
and then you, the, the controls are very simple. So it's just twist and go. Yep. So you twist it, it will be towards you if you're sitting on that side. And then obviously your steering is side to side. Yep. If you then operate the reverse, there's a small latch here. So you push that forward and then pull the lever back. Just I see. make sure that you press it all the way so it's all okay, the way down. Gotcha. All right. And then you have reverse thrust that way. But that's it. There's that's no, as simple as that. There's yet. no priming, there's no fuel pumps, there's nope. no smell. None of that, nope. That's fantastic. No. All right, let's give it a go. So it's, it's on now, is it? Yep, so you can see on the screen here that it's on. Okay, so this it says is we're doing one knot. I'm guessing that we're just drifting just, right now. Are yeah. oh, you clutching the rope? That's, that doesn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Oh, Christ! All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's much more responsive than I thought it would be. So, can you drive this at very low speed as well? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's kick out my guts. You ready? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Far out. Oh, this is wicked. So I'm guessing this um, carbon fiber hull, this thing's pretty pretty tough? Yeah, super tough, super tough. Tougher than fiberglass? Yeah, 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 yeah. And lighter weight. That's fantastic. So if you build up a bit of speed and then push the tiller towards me all the way, we'll go, we'll go around in a loop. Are you sure? Yep. Just yeah. hold on. Are you ready? Yep. Full at this speed? Yep. Here we go. Bloody hell! <laughs> I think the Zero Jet team have lost their minds because they've allowed me to have a go on the boat by myself. So, I haven't written a will yet either. Far up! <laughs> Far up, look at this thing go! This is epic. Who would have thought a tender running on batteries would be this exciting? My heart is racing right now. And one of the best things about this isn't just the speed or the agility, but the fact that it's clean. No pollutants, no chemicals going in the ocean. And if you charge this thing off Ecotricity Electricity, then it's climate positive. That's because Ecotricity is New Zealand's only certified climate positive electricity provider. Sounds too good to be true, but it's real and it's toy to certified, so you know it's good. Head to ecotricity.co.nz, switch your house and business, charge your car and your boat off climate positive electricity, and never look back. Ecotricity.co.nz, but now let's have a bit more fun. So to recap, Zerojet make the propulsion system which you can install on your build and if you do let me know because I want to see it, but if you're after something ready made they've partnered with offshore cruising tenders to produce the carbon fibre beast I just played in, or if you're a seaman that prefers a rigid inflatable they've partnered with Highfield to make this 3.3 metre long beast which can be fitted with a 10 kilowatt hour battery. That's enough for exploring, fishing trips or just getting to your yacht if you happen to have parked 30 kilometres away, all of these charge on a regular socket with the 5 kilowatt hour battery taking about 4 hours at a cost of $1 or free if you use your solar panels, plus it's quiet, there's near zero maintenance, no smell, no risk of petrol in the water, you get the idea, it's an upgrade from combustion, and more importantly, it's fun. And there you have it, this is the Zero Jet technology in an offshore tender. I wish this sort of stuff existed when I was a kid, because this is fun, you got all the fun without the noise, the hassle, the maintenance and the pollution. It's just epic. This is the future, but it's available right now.